us today uh, on behalf of Chelsea Fears. Uh, my name is Raquel Harris. I've been an instructor since September, and it's one of my favorite gyms to teach at so far. So I'm happy that I can be here with you guys digitally. Um, if it's your first time boxing, no worries. Uh, today I'm going to keep the combinations very simple, probably work up to three punches with a little bit of footwork. And before we get started, Hey, let's just do a warm up together. So we're gonna go ahead and start in our fighting stance. I'm gonna mirror you guys. So you can just go ahead and bring your left leg back into the south claw position. Both hands up, up, up in, and your legs halfway back. Let me just see the. And throughout the round, I'll just be coming up to the screen just to check on you guys and give you some corrections, motivation, anything you need throughout the class. If you want to have your camera turned on, feel free to, okay? So we have our left leg back in that stance. Legs should be about like halfway bent. And then what I want you guys to start doing is just bounce in place. All you have to do is kind of jump back, jump forward, back, jump forward, and back. Just for about 10 seconds. This is a great way to warm up the legs right before boxing class. It's a traditional warm up. If you guys are just joining me, I want you to bring your left leg back in a south plus stance and just start bouncing back and forth. Make sure you have those water bottles handy. Just gonna go ahead and check on everyone. Five more seconds in that bounce. Really good. Four. Three, two, one. All right, relax. This time we're gonna shuffle forward. I want you to maintain the space in between your legs. Almost as if, if you had resistance bands on and you wanna keep the resistance bands stretched out. Shuffle forward and then from here, walk back. Okay, shuffle forward, keep those elbows tucked in. Guys, if you're just joining me, okay, all we're doing is staying in our soft claw stance, shuffling forward about two or three beats, depending on your space, and then walking back, leading with the back leg. Getting right to our opponent. Shadow boxing is all about visually like a pretend fight. So shuffle in right to your opponent and then walk away. That's it. Give me a couple more sets. We got three, two, one, let's go ahead and add punches before and after. So once I get to the back, I have a jab cross. Then from here, I'm gonna shuffle forward. Jab cross again. One, two, step back. One, two, shuffle forward. Okay, so the difference in the footwork is I'm stepping back, just inching away. But when I'm advancing, I'm shuffling. One, two, and retreat. Make sure your elbows are pointed to the floor. When you throw those punches, I want you to turn your first two elbows down each time. So full twist down and give me a full pivot on that cross punch. The more you twist on that cross punch, the better. You want to be able to stretch that punch out so you can reach. Really good. That's it, guys. Try to rotate on the ball of your foot. Keep your legs bent. You want to keep some traction in your legs. Nice bent stance. We got three, two, one, and bounce it back to uh, bounce in. Let's go. Ten seconds. Back and forth. Elbows tucked in. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to our first exercise. 
We're going to go ahead and start with half burpees. You're going to kick your feet out into a plank, jump up into a squat. If you need a modification, just go ahead and step out one leg at a time. We're staying low in that squat, feet together in a plank, and then separate your feet at the top of that squat. If you want more high impact, you can just keep it here with the jump and try to activate your fast twitch muscles. See how fast you can pop up to the floor. Really nice work. We got 20 more seconds of practice. You got five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides and go orthodox. So right like that. Remember you guys remember me? And we have 10 seconds of bouncing back and forth. As you're bouncing, try not to go to rotate your head. So you wanna just keep it forward. Jump forward, jump back. Lay it on the ball to your feet at the same time. Five, four, three, two, one. Shuffle forward and then walk back. That's it. Once you get about two to three feet, go ahead and just retreat back regular. And let's add those punches in between. So right at the end, after we finish stepping back, we have that one, two punch, and then we're gonna shuffle forward, one, two punch again. Okay, so now we get to practice it from orthodox as well, okay? Same concept, you want to twist on a ball of your back foot when we throw that cross punch over. That's it. Walk back and then shuffle forward. Good, now shuffle forward, Veronica. Uh-huh, and then walk back. Nice, try to throw those punches straight forward. Don't go off to the side too much. We got five, four, three, two, and back to the bounce for 10 seconds. Let's go, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. This time we're going to add a push up at the bottom. So we're back into the froggies. Kick your feet out into a plank. One push up, pop up into a half squat. Let's go. Try to focus on quality over quantity. Give me good form, and I want you to think of this as your practice. That's it, so you have 20 more seconds to practice. Try to get lower in that push-up. Each rep, you wanna do it better than the last. I like it. We got three, two, one, and pop up. All right, guys, so we're going to get into some more fun parts. So now, this time, we're going to go back into the orthodox stance. Let's start southpaw. We're going to go back to the southpaw stance. Go ahead and bring the left leg back. and just going to work on some movement. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is step forward and then retreat back. Then step back and then retreat forward, okay? So I step forward, reset. Step back, reset. 
Okay, let's go ahead and try that out. When you step forward, make sure you lead with that front leg. When you step back, lead with the back leg. I want to keep this open. If you're intermediate, you want and you want to do something extra, you can add a duck in between each one. So you just always imagine there's a rope in front of you or behind you, you're gonna go underneath that rope, but keep your chest up straight. Beautiful. Okay, now let's break the lateral movement. Okay, we step to the side and then reset. So to the other side, reset. Same thing, whichever direction I'm going, if I'm moving left first, my left leg moves first. If I move right, then my right leg moves first. Okay, notice my heels never line up. Okay, I wanna keep a nice open space, enough to roll a bowling ball in between my legs. Right, beautiful. Now we're gonna try some a little bit of shadow boxing. This time gonna give me one, two, and then you can move any direction when you're done. So two straight punches, and then any direction. It could be forward, back, left, or right. Be sure to reset this back foot before you move. One, two, reset that foot, move right away. Move right away. Okay. And remember, if you're intermediate, you can add a duck with your movement. Nice, Dorian. Give me more turn, guys, on that cross. You want your cross longer than a jab. By me turning it increases my chances of landing it on my opponent. One, two, stretch that punch out. Use the full length, rotate through your back leg. Yes. Good, more power. <laughs> Cool thing about shadow boxing is the air has no resistance. So the faster you throw, the more you're increasing your speed. Okay, and then you're also engaging more muscle groups when you work harder. Okay, so I want you guys to pick up that power in your shots. Think of these as your knockout punches. You got 10 seconds. You get three. Two, one, and back to bouncing. Let's go. Five seconds of bounce, and we're gonna go non-stop. One, two, one, two, and three. Two, one, let's go, non-stop. 30 seconds, full extension on these punches. So let's get those hands up. Make sure your face is coming back to your cheek. That's it, now increase that speed. I wanna see the fastest one too you guys ever thrown. We got five, four, quicker, three, two, one. Beautiful, everyone down to the floor for V sets. Okay, let's do a one minute set and then we have a quick water break. <sighs> You want to bend your knees, you can as a modification. Tuck your knees and grab your legs. Otherwise, I want you to try to reach for your toes. See how much you can challenge yourself in this movement. Remember why you guys came to work out today. You came to leave stronger. You came to be a better version. 
than you were yesterday. Okay, so I want, really want you guys to channel this with every exercise. Give it your all. We got five, four, let's go higher. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get a quick water break and then we're going to try that combination on the other side. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and work. This time we are going orthodox, so we're gonna go ahead and bring that right leg back, okay? Hands up. And this time let's just start with working that movement. We have a step forward, reset. Step back, reset, okay? What I'm gonna do, just so that it's a little more interactive, is when I step back, you guys take a step forward. When I step forward, you guys take a step back, okay? So let's go ahead and try it out. So when I step back, inch towards me. When I step forward, take a step back. That's it. You got three, two, one. Beautiful. Now we have the lateral movement. Okay, so on this one, you instead of going opposite to your opponent, you're gonna follow them. Okay, so if I take a step to the right, you guys will step, uh, step to the right as well. Step to the left. You take a step to the left with me. Beautiful. <laughs> At a time, okay? Now go ahead and add the one, two in between each. Okay, so if I, I might step back, side or forward, just want you to go ahead and react to it and then do the one, two after. That's it. Good, let's increase that speed. React right away, one, two right away. Beautiful. Nice, now on your own, let's go freestyle with it. Feel free to add a duck with it. Even if you're a beginner and you feel like you can't get this movement down, go ahead and duck with your, with your uh, lateral or forward movement. Just keep your chest up and use your legs. Hands up too as you're ducking. Nice, guys. You got four, three, two, one. Beautiful, give me a bounce. Let's go, 10 seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, six. Keep going, five, four, three, 
two, one, and down to the floor. Okay, this time we have a reverse plank. And then from here, I want you to give me a 30 second set of tricep dips or tricep push ups. Try not to let your glutes touch the floor. And then afterwards, we're gonna kick our legs out and we're gonna go for single leg raises. Okay, let's go ahead and start with tricep push ups. In three, two, one. Good. When you dip down, try to focus on your arms. Bend it back without letting your butt touch the floor. So rise that hip. Look it good. In three, two. One, go ahead and kick your legs out and give me single leg raises. If this is too hard and you want to bend at the knee, feel free. And then after, just go ahead, extend, raise. Exhale at the top when you bring your leg in. So right through your mouth. Keep your shoulders as tall as you can. Don't let it sink. Oh, I'm sweating already. So guys, we have time for about one more round. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another fun thing that you can do with the one, two, and then you guys can freestyle afterwards. Okay, so earlier what we did was shuffle forward. So you're gonna start with that. And then you're gonna take your front leg and switch back into the opposite stance. So step back. So one note, you don't wanna bring your foot up too high off the floor. Stay low to the ground. Keep your legs bent. And then you're gonna switch again. You're gonna switch three times and then shuffle forward. So I have one, two, three, shuffle forward. Each time I switch, I'm bringing the hip back. So I have the rear side of my body facing away from my opponent. Really good. If you have a small space, keep your switches small. Beautiful, let's punch in between each one. Shuffle forward, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch. After three switches, shuffle forward. So if you want, you can add a three. One, two, three. Switch back. If, you're even, if you even feel more comfortable, if you're more into media advanced, add four punches. One, two, three, two. Then switch back. So option for punches. One, two. One, two, three. Or one, two, three, two. <laughs> nice Dorian and check the time we got three two one everybody thoughts let's go 10 seconds nine eight seven six 
five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, we're gonna add a freestyle round, okay? So we're gonna start for the first minute of the freestyle round. I'm gonna make you guys do four, three, two, one. That's four punches, three punches, two punches, and then one punch. So just a countdown. At, in between each punch, give me any direction of movement. So for instance, I do four shots, move. Three punches, move. Two punches, move. One punch, move. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and try it out. You can even add the switch movement. <laughs> you can add the shuffles, any type of movement you want in between. Yes, okay, so so it's gonna be four, three, two, one. So four punches, any four punches you want, three punches, two punches, and one. Okay, if you if you're not comfortable, you can just stick with straight punches. So one, two, three, four, any movement, then three punches, one, two, three, any movement, then two punches, one, two, any movement. <sighs> Use the movements from today, the switches, the shuffle, step back, or lateral. All right, beautiful. Now full freestyle. Let's go. So you can mix it up. You can do one punch, one punch, two punches, three. Still try to move. Okay, so fighting, you're never in one place. After you're done punching, either your head is moving or your feet. <laughs> full freestyle, guys. Put it all out there. Nice, Sharon. Woo! <laughs> yep, you guys got 30 seconds. Just imagine you have an opponent in front of you. After you hit them, they're hitting back. <laughs> Shadow boxing is about uh, visualization. So I want you to imagine any situation, any reaction. What are they doing after you punch? What are you doing? That's it. Nice, Janine. I love it. Bring those hands up higher. Yes, yes. Ooh. Nice, Jenny, Victoria, you guys are doing great. Good, keep it up, Alyssa. We got three, two, one. All right, guys, go ahead and get a quick sip of water. And then we are done with the boxing after Dorian is gonna go over a yoga flow with us, okay? So that we can keep moving, but I hope you enjoyed the preview of the boxing class that I will be doing at Chelsea Pierce. Thank you. Wow. That was truly amazing, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay, awesome. Uh, Everybody, make sure that you have your water. Thanks so much, Rocky. That was uh, the most I've ever boxed probably in my entire life. So super excited to take your class, continuing on in the future. Um, once you all have a little sip of water or a big sip of water, go ahead and uh, find your way to a comfortable seat or a sustainable seat. Hmm. Whew. Catching my breath. Uh, my name is Dorian. For those of you who do not already know me, um, I teach at Chelsea Piers in Brooklyn, uh, and I am so excited to be here with you all today, uh, especially um, with uh, the support of the ACLU and Black Lives Matter. Very excited uh, to be doing this 
um, doing this this Saturday. Cool. So once you find your way to your seat, uh, you can go ahead and place one hand on your heart and your other hand on your belly. And just close your eyes and give yourself uh, a little bit of time, a little bit of breath, uh, just so that you connect your breathing to your awareness of your body in this moment. And just feel your heartbeats at the rate of exertion and feel your breathing at the rate of exertion and then consciously will that, that speed or that intensity to come back towards a resting state. Soften your cheeks down away from your eyes and release any tension in between your eyebrows so that the face is soft and cultivate a breath that flows in and out of your nose. And as you feel things start to get steady, take a deep conscious breath in. Exhale, sigh it out of your mouth. <sighs> An even fuller breath in. Exhale, let that one go too. <sighs> one more time, deep full inhale in. Exhale, sigh that one out. <sighs> Keep your awareness of yourself very steady, full, and present. If your eyes were closed, you can go ahead and float them open. We're going to find our way into a hands and knees pose on our mat or on the ground if you don't have a mat. And uh, spread out your fingers nice and wide uh, from the thumb all the way to the pinky and make sure that your knees are right underneath your hips. Stretch your toes back towards the wall behind you. On an inhale, drop your bellies towards the earth, lift your gaze up to the sky. We call this cow spine. As you exhale, reverse that breath, lifting your navel center in towards your back body as your head drops towards the earth. Inhale, the belly drops, the gaze floats high, cow spine. Exhale, the belly lifts, and the head drops, cat spine. Take cat and cow on your own speed for a few breaths in and out. Just once again, deepening that connection between what you think, what you're telling your body to do, what your body's actually doing, and how breath helps the entire shape move. You can take a few times uh, circling your neck and your hips so that if there are any parts of your body that um, felt left out, that we can invite those parts in to the uh, relaxation response, the rest and digest response. For some of us, it's really easy to just stop and relax. And for some of us, we need a little bit of motion to get us there. So whatever simple motions you're taking to the right side, find those also to the left side. And then go ahead, find your way into a neutral spine, hands and knees. Take a nice deep breath in. Use your exhale to sit your hips back towards your heels for a child's pose. Widen your knees, widen your thighs, and let your belly drop down to the earth in between. You can stretch your hands forwards towards uh, the front end of your mat if you're using a mat, or you can take your arms back by your sides. And just for a moment, let the forehead rest down on the ground and allow the arms to stop working so you can bend your elbows and just let everything get heavy. Child's pose is a place that we come whenever we need a break or a rest or a timeout. So feel free at any time to come back to this shape if it calls you. Whenever your body says it's time to move again, if that happens, go ahead and lift your torsos up, finding your way into a hands and knees pose. 
Tuck your toes underneath. Use an exhale to lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. If your fingers closed off in that transition between hands and knees and down dog, re-fan out the fingers so the palms are widely spread. And lift your heels up. Put a soft bend in your knees. Let your butt bones be the highest part of your body here. Stretch all the way through the arms. And as we engage all those muscles in our upper body during our boxing portion, here's the option, uh, here's the time to lengthen those muscles. So really press the arms so that they're at their full length and feel that connection between your fingertips and your tailbone. Drop your head. Use your next inhale to send your torso forward for a plank pose like the top of a push-up position. Let your shoulders reach past your fingers, reach your heels back towards the wall behind you. Take a nice deep breath into your back ribs and a full exhale out. Actively press the ground away as if you were pushing somebody in front of you, standing up, breathing in. Let it out, exhale. One more time, big inhales in. Use your exhale to let the knees settle down to the ground, child's pose. Okay, we're gonna take those four positions that we've done so far, hands and knees, child's pose, down dog and plank, and we're gonna turn that into a flow using our breath. On your inhale, hands and knees. On your exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, down dog. Use your inhale to roll forward by plank pose. As you exhale, knees come to the ground, child's pose. Again, inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward find plank pose. Exhale, knees come down to the ground, child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward plank pose. Exhale, hips down, child's pose, good. One more time, inhale, hands and knees. It's okay to move slowly. <laughs> Exhale, down dog, mm -hmm. slow out the breath. Inhale, forward plank pose. Exhale, child's pose. Gorgeous, everybody. Starts the same. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, down dog. This time, start to walk your feet forwards towards your hands at the top of the mat. Whenever you reach the top, however much time it takes you, soften your knees and just hang over heavy. You can sway from side to side here, allowing the crown of the head to reach towards the earth and allowing the heaviness of the shoulders, the upper arms and torso to lengthen out your lower back. Take a nice deep inhale. Let an audible breath pass out. <sighs> Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Keeping a soft bend in your knees, begin to roll your bodies up to a stand. Press the feet down into the ground, all four corners of both feet to find your full height. And as you get tall, roll your shoulders up, back, and down away from your ears. Rotate your upper arms so that your palms point forwards towards the front of your room and stretch your fingers really wide. This is called mountain pose, so feel strong in your power, strong in your stance. And then an inhale to lift your arms up to the sky. Take a look up, let your palms press together. As you exhale, let your hands drift down to the earth, take a forward fold. Soften your knees, look forward. Inhale, step your right leg back to a lunge. On your exhale, the left foot's gonna step back, finding downward facing dog. Use your inhale to roll forward, coming into your plank pose. As you exhale, lower your bodies all the way down to the ground, elbows bend straight back. 
Untuck your toes, press the tops of your feet down into the earth, and then lift your heart for a baby cobra. Stay here for a moment, lift your hands up off of the ground so that we're making sure that the lift of the torso is coming from the extension of the back body and not pressing your hands. Hands come back down to the ground, find your way into downward facing dog, moving through bed knees. Take a breath to lift your right leg up into the sky, and then step your right foot forward, right next to your right thumb. Step your left foot next to your right foot with a little bit of space in between, bent knees. Palms come to your shins, let your heart travel forward, butt bones back. Exhale forward, fold, lengthening your legs, dropping your heads. Inhale, stand all the way up, arms lift high to the sky, press your palms together. Exhale, forward fold down to the earth. Left foot steps back to a lunge. Right foot steps back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward plank pose. Elbows bend straight back, lower to the ground. Press the tops of your feet, lift your heart, baby cobra, and then lift your hands up off of the ground. Send the chest forward, tuck your chin, Hands back down to the ground, find your way into down dog. Send your left leg high to the sky. Step your left foot forward. Right foot steps to meet the left at the top of your mat, palms to shins, butt back, heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold down to the ground. Right foot steps back for that lunge shape. Left foot steps back, down dog. Inhale forward, find your plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way to the ground. Press the tops of your feet into the earth. This time, lengthen your arms for a cobra pose. Send your pelvis forward, lift your gaze. Tuck your toes underneath, let the hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Send your right leg up to the sky. Step your right foot forward. Left foot steps to the top of the mat, palms to shins, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, arms high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Step your left foot back to a lunge. Right foot meets downward facing dog. Rolling forward to find your plank with breath. Lower all the way to the earth. Over the tops of your feet, press your hands to lengthen your arms. Cobra pose. Look up. Tuck the toes underneath. Lift your hips up and back, down dog. Left leg rises high to the sky. Step your left foot forward. Right foot steps to the top. Half lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold all the way down to the ground. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. And then lower your knees down to the ground, hands and knees pose. From your hands and knees pose, step your right foot in line with your hands, so your right foot's gonna step forward. Take your left hand right next to your right foot, the big toe side of that right foot. Shift a little bit more weight into your right leg, so bending your right knee, lift your right arm up to the sky for a twist. Try to roll your right shoulder backwards in space to open up the front of your chest. Deep inhales in, full exhales out. You can look up at your right thumb if it's okay for your neck today. Otherwise, just look at the wall your heart is facing. One more big inhale. Exhale, your right hand comes back down to the ground. Find hands and knees pose, draw your right leg back. And then go ahead, step your left foot forward so that your left foot comes to the big, uh, the thumb side of your uh, left hand. Slide your right hand next to your left foot. Press that right hand down, lift your left arm up to the sky. 
Try to avoid uh, slacking off of the bend in your left knee, so keep the left knee moving forward. Look at your left thumb, widespread left palm, deep inhales in, full exhales out. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, the left hand comes back down to the ground, hands and knees close. Tuck your toes underneath, lift your hips up and back, down dog. And then go ahead and roll forward by plank pose. As you exhale, lower your bodies all the way down to the ground. Stretch your arms out like you're the letter T. Arms are nice and wide to both sides. Look over towards the left side of the room or towards your left thumb, and then slide your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Press that left hand down into the ground to start to roll onto your right side. This is to stretch out the pectorals and that right shoulder from all of our awesome punching. <laughs> and uh, you're trying to uh, find the place where it feels uncomfortable, but not past the point of pain. Pain is a message from the body letting us know that we've gone too far. So it's okay to be uncomfortable, but we're avoiding pain. Breathing in and breathing out. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, roll back onto your belly. Stretch out your left arm to the left. Take your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Look over to the right side. And then press that right hand down to roll over onto your left. Pressing the left hand into the earth. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more deep inhale. Exhale, roll onto your belly. Take your elbows underneath your shoulders. Stretch your fingers forwards towards uh, the front edge of your mat, if you're using a mat. And then widen your feet. Dig your fingers down into the ground and draw your chest forward. Keep the pelvis low. This is called Sphinx pose. So if you've ever uh, seen pictures of the Sphinx in Egypt, Breathing in as you lift your chest, just like that sphinx. Breathing in, breathing out. You should feel a nice stretch in your lower back. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, full inhales in, and deep exhales out. Release your torso down to the earth. Roll onto your back. <laughs> Step the soles of your feet down to the ground here. Brush your index finger or middle finger against your heels just for spacing's sake. And then go ahead, press your feet into the earth, lifting your hips up into the sky for a bridge pose. You can press the uh, pinky side of your hands into the ground, the outer edges of the hands into the ground, and the upper arm bones down into the ground so you can get a nice rise out of the pelvis. Stretching the front body, tuck your chin, soft inhales in, deep exhales out. One more full inhale. Exhale, lower your tailbone to the ground. Separate your feet, letting your knees knock in towards each other. One hand comes to your heart, one hand comes to your belly. Just like when we were in our seat at the beginning of this section of class, allow the ragged edges of breath to come back towards what feels like stillness, what feels whole. You can keep your legs like this for as long as you want. Otherwise, slide your heels forwards towards the end of your mat, Fully resting your bodies down on the ground, Shavasana.
You can feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. Otherwise, step the soles of your feet down to the ground. Take a gentle roll over onto your right side. Using your hands to help you, carefully find your way upright. Coming back into your seat, letting your palms rest face down on your knees, and just receiving the benefits of our combined practice today. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Thanks everyone so much for coming to practice, for being here. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me through DorianShorts at gmail.com. And uh, I hope that everybody enjoyed practice. I hope that um, we will all see each other in the flesh sometime soon. <laughs> thank you, Dorian. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone, have a great day. <laughs>